As we all know, a lot of changes are happening in the way that we work, that we communicate, that we play, that we learn. And often these changes are driven by technology. Technology is having a huge impact on various spheres and systems of contemporary societies. Education is a very important sector, but it seems to be a little bit immune from those changes. It is not innovating as much as we see, for example, in the health sector or in workplaces or elsewhere. Schools still resemble to what we know from our own childhood or what people experienced in schools uh, several decades ago. Although a lot of changes are happening, uh, learners use computers, um, a lot of educational software is developed, people interact with um, learning opportunities in many different ways, but as a system it is not really changing a lot. These questions are at the forefront of our minds and often education policy makers feel a little bit helpless in addressing these changes. They um, offer technological equipment to schools, they improve connectivity, um, and slowly they also start to see the real challenge of technological change in education, which is driving the skills of teachers, um, improving the quality of teaching and learning environments. But we believe at UECD that an international dialogue um, among policymakers can help to guide them in improving education systems, in bringing more innovation to the system. But we also believe that this dialogue cannot happen among policymakers themselves. We need to involve stakeholders in the larger community. And one of the most important stakeholders is, of course, those people from the private sector who are in the process of developing technology, who are really developing the tools that could enable um, a more performant and better education and learning system. So we, we had the idea to bring together policymakers, ministers of education, and leaders from the education industry to discuss the needs and the, and the ways that we can bring um, innovation into our schools. We had a first uh, global education industry summit in Helsinki in October last year. It was a very successful event because people really felt the need to bring these questions to a table together with representatives from the industry who can be a very important partner in addressing innovation in, in education. And we are very pleased to organize a second Global Education Industry Summit in the beautiful city of Jerusalem, a landmark city which brings various cultures um, of humanity together. And we hope to find the real environment uh, in Jerusalem to discuss these questions. Also because Israel is the startup nation. It's one of those places on the globe which has really developed a, an environment, an ecosystem of innovation and which also bringing um, innovation into its schools. So we will also be able to see how um, Israel is um, promoting innovation and change in its education system. So we hope to see as many as possible education policy makers, high level officials, ministers, and also leaders from the global education industry in this summit on the 26th and the 27th of September.